When I first met you, I was thinking, Joy Quack. What a funny name. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know Quack wasn't your actual last name, rather a self-given nickname from a duck you once kept. And I reckon there are friends out there today that only just found out what your real name is. I want to talk about Joy. Not your name, but the feeling. It is the fitting for your name because it is what you have given me over the last seven and a half years. You have given me a lot of joy. Right from the moment we met to the moment I casually first said, I like love you, eh? <laughs> to standing here today. Joy, I promise to support you for the rest of our lives together, including the Pokemon collection and all the Pikachus. All the Pikachus. I still remember giving you your first Pikachu plush for your 19th birthday at the, at the Mount Gravatt lookout and you were so happy that day and you still sleep with that Pikachu every day. <laughs> I can't wait to continue creating memories like that for you. Today I'll marry my best friend and I can't wait. I call upon all friends and family here today to witness that I, Michael George Hart, take you, Joy and Shane, to be my awful wedding. Michael George Hart, where do I even start? Seven and a half years ago, when we met as 18 year olds, I didn't imagine that we would be here. You're kind of stalkerish, like, come on. You heard my name and asked if I was the Joy Quack. <laughs> Since then, a lot has changed. You no longer only wear plain t-shirts, we own a house together and I've traveled to multiple countries. I've also gotten funnier and love Pikachus even more. Today, we start a new journey together and we will encounter a lot more in the next chapter of our lives. But I promise that these things will never change. I will probably never learn to cook for just two and I'll never grow to like onion or tolerate it. So you'll just have to do without. The bathroom floor will continue to be covered in my hair even though we own a Dyson now. I also look forward to continuing to eat half of your meals and having you there to eat my vegetables. I am grateful to have you to listen to me after a bad day and to be able to share my triumphs with someone who cares. I know you'll be the person that continues to push me to grow and to develop, to be a better version of myself. You will challenge me and frustrate me, but that will only make us stronger. Today, I, Joanne Shang, take you, Michael George Hart, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Seven and a half years ago, I found my heart, and today, I become one. A very great pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife. I now invite you to begin your married life with a kiss. <laughs> Welcoming for the first time as husband and wife, Michael and Joy. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person who can't live without. 
and I think that my best mate and his beautiful bride have found that in each other. I am Michael's father and I can remember Michael when he was younger. He was a determined child who said things and then made them happen. There are three things in particular that I remember. Number one, when he was in the under 11 soccer team, he said he was going to get a letter in the mail saying he was going to be selected to trial for the representative team. It happened. Number two, he said he was going to get an OP1. It happened. The th number three, the third thing he said to me was he was going to get married and have eight children. It's happening. Thank you.